Hello friends, welcome to Environmental Science Unit 1 Natural Resources. Under Natural Resources, in this video, we are going to see the forest resources, use and over exploitation, deforestation, and case studies, timber extraction, mining, dams, and their effects on forest and tribal people. Now let us see the importance of forest, that is the uses of forest. So as we have already seen, forest resources are natural and also renewable. But if these resources are exploited, then the natural resource or the renewable resource may become non-renewable. So then ecological balance, maintenance of ecological balance, forest and wildlife are essential to maintain the ecological balance of any particular area. So forest also check the pollution of air by means of increasing the oxygen level in the air and also they are reducing the global warming. Then economic development. So forest contributes to the economic development of the country because they provide various kinds of goods and services uh, to the people and industry. The next one is quality of environment. The forest enhances the quality of environment by influencing the life support system. So they are the water, air, soil, minerals, oil, the products we get from the forest and that is the grasslands, oceans and from uh, agricultural livestock are very much important for the uh, human life. Hence, uh, by means of uh, all these uh, life supporting system, the quality of environment is uh, increased. Then, uh, safeguard against pollution. Forest uh, check air pollution and also soil erosion. Thus, they provide a safety against pollution and also a safety against the erosion of soil. Then, soil conservation. Forest save the hill slopes from landslides. If the forest cover is removed from the areas like hill slopes, there are very much or many chances of occurring occurrence of landslides. Then, wind erosion, especially. Uh, the places like deserts, the trees reduce uh, the wind erosion by checking the uh, wind velocity. So, attraction of uh, rainfall by causing, by the process of causing a condensation of water vapor in clouds, forests attract uh, rains and rainfall occurs, and then the controlling of floods. The floods are controlled because forests absorb rainwater like uh, mega sponges and moreover they recharge the ground water and uh, whenever we need we can get the water back from the underground resource so this is a very um, important um, feature of uh, forest uh, keeping the water source under the ground then uh, checking the extension balance the forest checks uh, strong wind and it keeps the soil intact beneath the roots of trees and thus checking the extension of deserts. Then uh, the linking or uh, linkage with the culture and the civilization. So forests are linked with our culture and the civilization um, because um, let us see it is uh, how um, the food festival, uh, our lifestyle and the clothes uh, all uh, are depends upon the various products uh, which are available and uh, usage by the people who are living in and around the forest and thus the forest have a close link with our culture and civilization. Next one is the supply of raw material. So forest supply wood which is used for fuel then raw material for various industries such as pulp, paper, newsprint and board. Then the timber uh, obtained from a forest, uh, they are useful for various furniture items for uh, homes and industries. Then they are also used in uh, packing articles like fruits and tree, tea industry. Then also for preparing matches and sport goods, sports goods, etc. Many minor products are available from the forest such as cans, that is uh, bamboo cans, then gums, resins, dyes, medicines, tannins, fibers, honey and many other uh, products or uh, minor products are available from the forest. Then uh, forest food uh, provide food for tribal people. 
food means uh, food like uh, tubers roots leaves fruits and then uh, meat from uh, birds and uh, other animals are also uh, available as a uh, food for uh, people uh, tribal people who are uh, living uh, in and around the forest then employment opportunities it is a uh, very important one um, about 8 crore people are employed in uh, wood based industries like uh, paper match industries and small cottage industries moreover the forest provide an employment uh, that is many or more people are employed in the forest department in various states in our country the next one is revenue the forest provide uh, around 400 crores per year as revenue to the government then fodder for cattle so forest provide uh, uh, enough number of uh, enough amount of uh, fodder uh, to cattle that is food uh, food material um, then foreign exchange forests provide a great number of articles like essential oils resins and dyes which find a market uh, in uh, foreign countries uh, so all these things are exported to foreign countries and uh, uh, thereby uh, there are uh, nearly five, uh, 50 crores uh, of money uh, is uh, earned uh, through the foreign exchange by means of selling lac turpentine oil and uh, sandalwood oil to uh, foreign countries thus the forests are our nation's wealth they are useful to us uh, directly or indirectly now let us see the over exploitation of forests so uh, the population is increasing tremendously in our country so this is a major uh, problem uh, uh, threatening the existence of forest so it has already crossed the population of con our country is already crossed thousands of uh, millions so meeting uh, its ever increasing demand has resulted in our uh, consumption of forest if the uh, population increases then the consumption of forest resources will also increase uh, here scientists estimate that india should have uh, a 33 percentage of land under forest uh, cover but now we have only about 21 percent a large amount of forest is over exploited for fuel wood timber and pulp wood and wood for packing purposes and also for many other purposes so wood is needed on a large scale uh, for fruit industry and tea then the forest resources are over exploited uh, to make a paper board and a newsprint also here uh, we have to see this uh, per capita consumption of paper the per capita consumption of paper has increased to 4.5 kg per year bamboos and hardwood are the chief sources of raw materials to make paper and board that is about 70 uh, percent of bamboo and uh, hardwood are used to make paper and boards the next one is deforestation deforestation is the process of uh, felling trees or uh, cutting trees indiscriminately resulting in node or semi node surface of a forest area that is a removal of uh, forest cover uh, from an area is uh, called as uh, deforestation then uh, causes of deforestation uh, this is mainly due to cutting of trees or uh, felling of trees to meet the ever increasing demand of forest products for cities for many developmental activities or for the uh, requirement of uh, various industries in cities, the trees are uh, felled or cut. Then overgrazing by local cattle, goats and uh, sheep. They do not, um, say they not only destroy the vegetation, but they also pull out the roots of uh, plants, uh, thereby they destroying the forest cover. The next point, uh, meeting out the growing hunger for land. So for the developmental activities like urbanization and uh, construction, the forest area are uh, destroyed. So it affects the ecology of the country very badly. So hence, there is a large amount of waste land than the productive land. But we have to uh, have a more amount of productive land then, but by means of uh, districting the forest, the amount of uh, productive land is reduced and uh, waste land is increased. So a large scale of uh, deforestation badly affects the climate and weather it is a very important thing to note 
uh, then a major cause of uh, deforestation has been the construction of hill roads. So by means of uh, constructing roads, they damage the uh, protective vegetation cover in all areas. Next one is the evil consequences of uh, deforestation. Here, the adverse effect on productivity. Deforestation affects uh, the productivity of our Craplands, thereby we are uh, losing our agriculture. Uh, losing of agriculture means we are losing the agricultural land and also the agricultural products. Then a destruction of wildlife habitat. There is a threat to the flora and fauna of uh, area. So the threat to wildlife species um, this uh, leads to a loss of natural resources in that area and which ultimately leads to a great loss of biodiversity. So the biodiversity is a very much important to conserve the environment and for the life of the people. But uh, if there is a threat to biodiversity, the human being has to uh, encounter uh, many problems due to the deforestation. Then a global warming. Uh, so deforestation uh, causes a global warming uh, by means of the production of more amount of greenhouse gases into the environment than land uh, erosion and landslides. About 6,000 million of uh, top soil, which is very much essential for the soil and agriculture purpose, is lost annually due to the water erosion in the absence of the tre these trees. Then the low cap cap per capita forest land. The uh, per capita forest land in India is now only 0 0.10 hectare uh, when compared to the world average of 1 hectare. Uh, here is one uh, case study on deforestation that is the joint forest management. The need to include uh, local communities in forest uh, management has uh, become a growing concern now. Uh, only the local people will support greening of an area if they can see some economic uh, benefit uh, from conservation of uh, that area. An informal arrangement between the local communities and the forest department began in 1972 in Midnapur district of West Bengal. So these people uh, participated in restoring, uh, restoring the green cover of that area and uh, protected the area from being overexploited. So this is the joint forest management. The next one is timber extraction, mining, dams and their effects in forests and uh, tribal people. Let us see one by one. Uh, first one is timber extraction. It is estimated that India is losing uh, 15 million hectares of forest cover every year and if this trend continues unchecked, it could take only a period of 9 to 20 years to reach a, a zero forest value in our country. But trees have been felled in large number for fuel, fodder and valley projects, industrial uses and for a construction of roads. So India consumes nearly 170 million tons of uh, firewood annually and uh, there are uh, 10 to 15 uh, million hectares of forest cover is being stripped or removed every year to meet the fuel requirements of our country. Uh, timber extraction is legally done in India by the forest department but illegal uh, logging are also continues in many parts of the uh, forest of India and the world. Uh, next one is mining. The process of extracting the minerals, metals, coal, ores uh, from the earth by means of uh, digging is called as uh, mining. The mining uh, work in our country has been uh, unscientific. So hence the consequences have been uh, disastrous. So mining are always uh, dangerous to the flora and the fauna and also for the human being. So mining affects the productivity. Uh, mining operations also affects the forest and cultivated land areas of the particular uh, places. And mining causes water and air pollution. Then destruction of land and deforestation are also caused by mining. Then uh, noise pollution, uh, vibration of uh, ground problems in that mining area. And then uh, mining operations uh, have been taken mainly in the uh, states of uh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Orisha and Andhra Pradesh. The next one is dams. The impacts caused by the construction of dams and reservoirs are 
uh, there is a change in the microclimate uh, around the area in which the dams are constructed then there is a loss of vegetal cover that means uh, the area where dams are constructed uh, have to lose the agricultural land and agricultural are lost so this is the loss of vegetal cover in that area then um, a soil erosion occurs in the area where the dams are constructed and uh, uh, moreover uh, various in the water table uh, in the say, surrounding areas of uh, dam and uh, enhanced seismic activities occur due to the pressure of uh, water which is stored in the dams so due to the activities of uh, construction of uh, dams the forest agricultural land will be destroyed and villages will be submerged in water and birds and animals will have to lose their habitats here the most important social consequences of constructing big dams has been the displacement of millions of tribals from their homeland into urban areas almost as refugees so they are sent out of their native place into various places as refugees where they cannot uh, get uh, yeah, suitable living place houses and employment so here we have to think one thing uh, seriously uh, while constructing uh, dams um, the, those people uh, in their native places those uh, village people or tribal people living in their native places are sent out of their uh, native place or they are displaced to various places as refugees for the welfare of uh, some other people so why this happens so uh, this is a serious uh, serious thing so the this is why uh, uh, most uh, scientists uh, environmentalists uh, journalists uh, social activists lawyers and the bureaucrats have now raised their voice against uh, construction of these big dams in our country the four major dam projects which have generated much controversy in our country are the Sardar Sarovar project in Gujarat, the Narmada Sagar project in Madhya Pradesh, the Bodhgad project in Madhya Pradesh, and the Tegri Dam project in Uttar Pradesh. So, although uh, the above projects have been given environmental clearance by the uh, environmental board and the country, uh, there is uh, still a force on the government to stop uh, these projects. So far, in this video under uh, forest resources, we have seen the use and over exploitation of forest resources, uh, deforestation and uh, case studies, timber extraction, mining, dams and their effects on forest and uh, tribal people. Thank you.